Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a minute. Don't worry. <laughs> We're calm. It's before okay. Christmas. Everyone is in a good mood, even though this is a really serious debate. So we will await your contribution. Sorry. Ready to go? Yes. Good. Thank you. Firstly, might I congratulate our parliamentary delegation to Malta for ensuring that the corruption, scheming and impunity in that country is held under a spotlight. These things that undermine our democracies and the legitimacy of our political systems flourish in darkness. All involved have done well to shine a light on Malta. Parliament has done well to force the Council and the Commission to take note, but we must ensure that the Council and the Commission take firm action to guarantee the integrity of Malta and of all our democracies. As a former journalist myself, when I look at the situation for independent journalism across member states, I shiver. Daphne Caruna Galicia is murdered, the Maltese government has questions to answer, and the S&D conveniently forget their voices. The EPP ignores and tacitly complies in the silencing of the Hungarian press. And earlier this year in my own country, Lyra McKee, a young LGBT journalist, was murdered in Northern Ireland. These are just a few examples of the situation across the continent. Colleagues, I urge all of you to apply the utmost passion in holding the Maltese government to account, but do not stop there. Ensure that no journalist, no political or civil society activist dies in vain. I urge all of you to forget political convenience, forget the difficulties of taking action against a member state, and deliver strong, efficient legislation that delivers for all European citizens. Thank you.